Welcome back to the broadcast. Um, we're back with Richard Rollins, um, who you probably recognize from Gas Monkey Garage on the Discovery Channel show, Fast and Loud. He's very popular. Um, now, something, he's very, he's much more famous than any of us will ever be. Absolutely. Um, now, so you went from cars and um, mo motorcycles to the restaurant business. How does this happen? It's uh, pretty simple. Um, you know, that's my next goal was to have a bar and a restaurant. So uh, every guy that works on cars and motorcycles in his garage has a refrigerator and a barbecue grill in the backyard. So right. it was a natural progression. I just needed yep. a bigger refrigerator and a bigger grill. I love it. And more friends. <laughs> Lots exactly. of friends. I love it. So you decided, so y'all just opened the new place. It's in, it's um, about six weeks old? Uh, six weeks old. It's over at 35 and Northwest Highway where the old uh, fire water used to be for those of you that Yeah. And you gave that. me quite the grand tour yesterday. You guys take a look at this. I decided to do Gas Monkey Bar and Grill because it's, it's really a natural progression. I mean, every guy out there that works on his car in his garage has a barbecue grill and a refrigerator full of beer close by. So, you know, that's kind of what we wanted to do. I've always wanted to have, you know, my own bar and grill type setup. And this opportunity came along, I decided to jump on it. We get a lot of motorcycle crowd, a lot of hot rod guys, and then we're also a real big destination point because of the show Fast and Loud, you know, being the number one show on Discovery. Everybody wants to come to the Gas Monkey Bar and Grill, check it out. Uh, so how involved were you in the menu? Um, we're still evolving the menu. I mean, we've only been open six weeks, and we're still trying new things. But, I mean, the basics are, you know, hamburgers and sandwiches and brisket. And, you know, it's kind of Texas Roadhouse uh, type feel, but with a little bit of I mean, we, it's not your typical just bar food. This is, you can come here, have a nice meal, bring a date, things like that. I've heard there's some weird stuff that goes on upstairs, like there might be a stripper pole there up there. There is a stripper pole. Do I need to go see the stripper pole at some if point? If you walk in and see, you have to dance. <laughs> Cheers to you. This okay, way. give me the full tour. to the uh, private monkey. The private monkey. It's open. Okay. That makes me nervous. I didn't know if that Your was... Your mom left her bra here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, my, my mom's bra is probably a lot saggier than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding, that's mine. A man who can take a bath is very comfortable with his, himself. Oh, yeah. I mean, and a man who can bathe with bubbles and Coors Light. Why not, right? So I love the fire pit. I love the outdoor bar. We're going to have some fun, but we're killing it, you know, but this was just something I've always wanted to do. And I love this. I love this outdoor space, and you've got how it goes upstairs. So you said Hank Williams Jr. the third played out here? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was yes. like a week ago. Oh, wow. Uh, we got the Misfits coming. We kind of, you know, bring in a little bit of every kind of group. Uh, we've got some really big names coming next year. I can't really tell you who they are, but... I mean, oh, come on. You can give me a little teaser. Have some another, have can we get long, him another beer? Some of them have some long beards. Uh, you know, I mean, we've got some good stuff going on. Uh, like ZZ Top? Well, like I said, I can't confirm anything right now. We're still working on everything in contracts, but uh, we're going to have really some high-level, large-scale bands that are, you know, people in this time. Dallas needs more live music. It does. And it was starving for something like this. Um, and of course, time. who else but you would have thought of That's such right. a great idea? Yeah, well, it's, it's not like I came up with an original thought, you know, live music, band, good looking chicks, TV. Sports bar, yeah, yeah. we're ready. Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. Awesome. Thanks. It was so awesome. fun. I need to go back and eat for sure. So have, has the response been really great to the restaurant? The it's response has been great. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of bikers and hot rods on the weekends because it's, you know, it's on the water there and it's got a good stage for music. So it's a really cool hangout. I love well, it. Well, having a husband that's a biker, I know that he'll be Yeah, and you'll see Amy and Bill pretty yeah, soon and, probably. I mean, because they're always looking for places yeah. to go and ride to and then have a bike to eat and then take off and ride some more. So that's a great stop. This and you're it. always so accessible to your fans. And so I feel like that gives you just one more way to be able where they can come and meet you and like hope right. that if they go grab a burger and fries like oh my gosh maybe Richard and Aaron will be here so usually somebody from the cruise there love it so lunch dinner clubs music. occasionally music uh, mu uh, we got music I think six nights a week uh, wow. we're open at uh, lunch and dinner and then most of the weekend it turns into a little bit more of a hangout you know yeah we saw dinner. that stripper pole uh, oh, we know what it turns okay. into on the weekend <laughs> Richard. If, you're, if you're gonna have a private room you gotta have a pole oh, okay. okay that's my motto <laughs> Caroline said, that's my motto. <laughs> right? Oh, good. That's good awesome. one, Caroline. Thanks. I love well, it. Yeah. Okay, well, it's always such a delight to see yes. you. Thanks for having us here. You guys, be sure to check out the Gas Monkey Bar and Grill um, in Dallas. It's off Northwest Highway in Stimmons. And, of course, they're, they've got an awesome TV show on the Discovery Channel. It airs Monday nights at 8 o'clock, fast and loud. Be sure to catch that as well. Okay, when we come back, we are talking about a wonderful ride, all for a great cause. And you'll meet the folks behind it. That's next.